All right, so last time um, we looked at 2c5. After e3, we looked at the move knight c6, and I mentioned that the other two moves were queen b6 and ed. I should mention that knight f6 is also a good move, but um, I'm not going to cover this right now because this uh, will be looked at in different move order because um, there's uh, the, there's also this move order, which I'll cover later, which is the third move c5, and right now we're looking at second move c5, so don't want to cover something twice. Okay, so after this and this, now we'll uh, look at the interesting queen b6. Okay, so this is an interesting move. Uh, it attacks the b2 pawn immediately. Um, obviously, moves like queen c1 can't be right. b3 doesn't look great. It's actually not bad. Yeah, it's a, it's not it's interesting, but I wouldn't play this. And white actually has got a very strong move here that doesn't look very orthodox for the London, considering that we normally move this pawn to c2 or to c4. But in this position, we actually have. Um, knight to c3. And this is pretty a pretty common theme. If uh, black plays queen b6 early, a lot of the time white will play knight c3. The idea is in a lot of positions, white can play like this and have a lot of cause of, uh, black a lot of problems like this. In this position, actually, um, if black takes, white will take on d5 because it's not guarded. And this is just a killer position. So, um,. But let's look, um, for example, let's look what happens after a correct move. So um, I think the, well, I don't know, there's a few moves here. Knight, white, black can play knight f6. You can play e6. And you can play uh, pawn takes d4. So let's go through them. Um, First of all, pawn takes d4 uh, should be um, met according to the book Win of the London System. It should be met with bishop b5 check. So after bishop b5 check, uh, black has to play king d8, actually. Um, every other move that black plays will be met with knight takes d5. So if black plays this, white will play this and be winning. Black plays this, white will play this, and also be winning. Notice that um, black can't take this bishop with the queen because there'll be a royal fork on c7. So black is actually forced to move his king, um, after which white will just calmly retake on d4. Knight f6, knight f3. Black will challenge this white bishop. And uh, here, instead of capturing and allowing black to retake with his knight, recapture with his knight, um, white will just simply maintain the pressure. Um, black will play this to force the issue. But white has an interesting move here, a5. This is a very, I think it's a very good move. Um, it, uh, you notice that if you get rid of all the pieces on the board, in an endgame, this pawn will uh, hold up these two pawns by guarding this square. So this is a very good long-term position. Um, a queen will check on e6, and bishop will just come back. And we have this, again, we have this, this very strong pawn. Uh, black's king is moved, and uh, white's pieces are in good shape here. All right. So let's go back and uh, instead of uh, so all right. So black does this move doesn't look so promising. Um, well, we already saw that this move loses to this, so that's not an option. And um, what about um, knight f six? Well, after knight f6, um, white just continues normal development. And rem and now, of course, if black takes here, white can no longer take on d5, because it's guarded by this knight. But we still have these ideas. And uh, the beauty of this is uh, there's a lot of cool stuff. You have this check, so black's inevitably going to play knight a6. And there's a lot of different things you can do here. Um, let's say... 
I don't know, let's say you're playing a stronger, let's say you're playing a player who's much higher rated than you. Well, if you really want, you, you have a draw here. You can just do this, attack the queen, and just go back, and just repeat the position, and so forth. If instead you want to play for uh, an advantage, which you should consider, you always have cool ideas like this, these kinds of sacrifices, and uh, very sharp positions arise, but uh, I think White's in good shape here, considering his development advantage and uh, his knight has nice outposts. You have to be careful with this knight, but there's a lot of interesting stuff. So Queen takes B2 is still not what I would consider strong, and White can just continue playing normally since this Queen takes B2 stuff isn't really dangerous. Okay, so let's look at the uh, the the main move, I guess, and that is e6, uh, which is just simply to guard d5. Okay, so there's two different options here for white. Um, there's a3, and there is bishop takes b8, so these are the two options. Um, I, I'm going to recommend... Um, the more energetic bishop takes b8. I mean, a3 is perfectly reasonable. And uh, you just, you know, you play with rook b1 and knight f3 and so forth. Of course, black can't take immediately because knight a4 just win wins the queen. So you just, you know, def you play like this and you can enter a normal position. And you can do that if you want. It's not very hard to play. But let's look at the more critical move. Alright, so. White is taking on uh, b8. Black recaptures. And he recheck. Okay. So the idea is that we can force Black's king to move. And now we are going to sacrifice this b2 pawn for a quick development. So we're going to play this, which guards the knight. And, uh, yeah. So, um,. Oh wait, sorry, wrong move. Wrong move. Uh, it's, it's, it's first we take the pawn, sorry. Pawn takes first, and then play queen d2. Alright, so now black will take. I mean, if he doesn't, if black doesn't take, I mean, doesn't accept the pawn sacrifice. Well, it's just better, right? So he's got to, that's what a refute a gambit is, is to accept it, right? So rook b1. And now only move, of course, is queen a3. Rook b3. Okay. Um, you guys might be tempted to play e4, but this is dubious. Do not play this move. After knight f6 and pawn takes, there's a bishop takes f2 check, which is very strong. Of course, queen can't take because the knight is on freeze. And um, similarly, the king can't take because the queen can still take this knight and there's a royal fork here afterwards and so don't play e4 um, instead just play the normal rook b3 queen goes to a6 we develop our last minor piece and we just castle and there is I, I certainly believe uh, there's a lot of compensation here uh, I think it's better for white white has very quick mobilization of his rooks. The black king is in the center. Now you can think of playing moves like e4. Um, you know, d4 is a nice outpost for a knight, so it's e5. If knight, if white can get some, you know, a knight to e5 somehow, it's good. Um, and you know, the person who's going to be suffering in this position is is going to be black, not white. 